the right. pitch. That one's lying down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble. It's fair, it's trouble. Olsen hits the inside of first base. He's going for two. What the heck? He might go for three. He's on his way. He's halfway there. The relay. Safe. Cassidy Olsen has himself a two-out triple. Scott Glasser's in the hole, 0 and 1. The new bat yields a ball outside. That's a good bat. Pushes balls away from the strike zone. <laughs> we like the new bat. The new bat has power. It is a magic wand. It is the magic bat, and Scott Glasser has it. 1 1 pitch, curveball, lined in the left field. Oh. Brown can't make the play. It's off of his glove. He's having all kinds of problems, and Sammy Taylor will score the seventh run of the game for the Reno Chuckers. Justin Carapresso awaits the 1 2 pitch from Rich Graham. Curveball inside. Carapresso grounds weakly to the shortstop on his rocket, and he boots it. One run will score. Two runs will score. The Reno Chuckers have tied it up in the bottom of the ninth inning. David Francisco, two have been played in here to tie it in the bottom of the ninth inning. David Francisco looking at the 0-1 pitch, and he rifles one into deep left center field. That's going to score Carapresso, and that is your ball game as the Reno Checkers score three on a two runs on a two-run error by Andres Duncan to come back and win 15-14. And what a way to end the season.